Aloha Ohana. Today I'm going to give you a spiritual first aid kit. A number of years ago when I was living in California, I was laid off of my job due to unforeseen circumstances. This completely blindsided me spiritually. I had not expected it. Like the COVID pandemic, the possibility of it happening was somewhere out in the universe, but um, almost impossible. So when it happened, I was completely taken by surprise. I would like to tell you that I handled this really well, that I went to my Bible, I was comforted, God came alongside me, but no, that is not what happened. I blamed, I tried to justify it, I couldn't believe it. I had left a good job to go to this job, and man, I was down. I needed a spiritual first aid kit. Maybe something similar has happened to you where you were blindsided by unexpected circumstances. Let me tell you, I have a few friends who have served multiple tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. Switching from spiritual to physical, I'll let you know that they have encouraged me to put together a small kit of items for physical emergencies so that I would be prepared. If I am prepared for physical emergencies, I can control, I'm safer. It's more than a Band-Aid, a few things that I might carry with me at all times. I have a plan. I like that. They like that. They've insisted on it. And so today, I'm going to give you a little kit for spiritual emergencies. I insist on it so that you can have it and you can be prepared as my friends helped me to assemble a small kit for myself i'm going to help you today with a small kit of your own okay there are five items that are go, going to go in our kit the first one is to sit down if you can or prop yourself up if you can't sit down when you're in a spiritual emergency breathe deeply and say abba while you're breathing deeply Breathe in and say ah, breathe out and say ba. <gasps> ah, ba. And repeat, this will help to calm you. Number two, have a go-to verse that will calm you. If you don't have one of these already, use Psalm 23. Carry it with you. Put a little copy of it in your wallet for emergencies. And then ask God for discernment for your own calming verse. Go through the Psalms. Something will pop out at you and you'll have your own calming verse. But for now, just use Psalm 23. Recite it. It will help to calm you. Number three, gratitude. Express gratitude to God. God is present 100% of the time, whether you know it, whether you feel it, and whether you acknowledge it. He's still there, even if you feel far from him. Express gratitude for whatever you can, your breath, life, your provision, faith, hope, um, his resurrection. You can be grateful for a friend, a relative, or a child that you know. Focus on gratitude for a moment. Number four, forgiveness. God gives us the supernatural gift of forgiveness. How do we know this? because he forgives us. Our sins are fully forgiven by God. This is a supernatural gift. So um, remember that he forgives you. If you're stuck in the blame game as I was, forgive those people. It will help you, it will calm you, and it will make you feel so much better. Number five in your spiritual kit, and finally, Draw a line in the sand. Jesus drew a line in the sand against sin. He drew this line in love. God loved us first, and our number one job is to love. So we need to draw that line so that we don't cross it. We don't go into hate and spinning out of control and blaming other people. Jesus is very clear, the line in the sand says that we are to love one another and not to accuse and blame. If it isn't loving, it isn't of God. 
make that line and stay on the Jesus side. So remember our five items. Sit down and breathe saying Abba. Number two, have a go-to calming verse. Number three, express gratitude to God. Number four, accept God's supernatural gift of forgiveness. And number five, draw that Jesus line in the sand and stay on his side of it. That's all for today, so until next time, uh, may he who keeps us from stumbling, the triune God of love, resurrection, gratitude, mercy, forgiveness, and grace be with you. Much love to you. Aloha.